Uh, good morning and welcome to our Tuesday morning Bible study. Uh, the Old Testament reading from this last week was from Exodus chapter 16. I'm going to read verses uh, 2 and 3. The whole congregation of the people of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the people of Israel said to them, Would that we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, where we sat by the meat pots and ate bread to the full. For you have brought us out into the wilderness to kill those who assemble with hunger. Um, well, basically what they were saying is we preferred slavery to this. We, uh, we preferred less than being human to this. We preferred the poor meals to this. Now remember the Lord had rescued Israel. He had done some wonderful things. And yet, did they think that the Lord did all that work just to have them starve to death in the desert or the wilderness? One of the stories I like, uh, I've preached it a couple times on Easter, is a story about uh, a Napoleonic general. He worked for Napoleon. He was a general, Messina. Messina was coming up onto an Austrian village, which he had planned to conquer. And that village, when they saw 18,000 Napoleon soldiers coming up, they kind of panicked. The town leaders got together and decided they were going to go out and ask for um, a truce, you know, to just give in. They didn't want to destroy their town and all the death that comes with it. And the minister in the town uh, stood up and he said, hey, I think we forgot something. Today is Easter. Let us ring our church bells, call the people to worship, and then afterwards, whatever happens, happens, leave it in the hand of the Lord. I guess he guilted the town elders because they said, sure. He went, he rang the church bell, the community went in to do their Easter vigil. And as they were doing that, uh, General Messina heard those bells and his soldiers did well, and they heard, thought they were ringing the bells because the Austrian army had showed up to rescue that village. And they did not want to engage at that point. So they actually withdrew completely from the battlefield and went on to another part of Austria. The town was saved. The, the point of this story is to, to trust in the Lord, even when the world around us looks like in complete chaos. Um, the Israelites needed to trust in God. Our text for the gospel, which I won't talk about, uh, which was preached by uh, Vicar Sauer this Sunday, a lot of it has to do with Jesus saying, you all are following me because your stomachs are hungry, not because you're hearing the truth, that you're not hearing law and gospel, that you're not hearing what Christ has come to do for us and does do for us. And a lot of people treat God this way, even to this day. They're mad when they don't get their way. They don't go to God in the good times. They do not trust in him in any way. And when they don't receive what they want, they blame God completely as if God had decided to forget about his children, which he has not. We Christians, even at the end of our life when everything looks bleak, and at the end we, we trust in the Lord that he will take us from this wilderness to our final home, which is at the side of Christ. We will enjoy paradise with him in heaven, and when he comes again and resurrects our body in the new earth, and we will enjoy life with Christ forever. Our Lord does take care of us. So why the grumbling? Why the worry? Why is your stomach so much more important than your eternal salvation? Or if we're talking about Americans here, why is your bank account more important than your eternal salvation? Trust in the Lord. He has never, ever let his people down. Let us pray. Dear Lord, in the good times and the bad, help us go to you. Help us to trust you when our world turns upside down. We especially ask for you to help us trust you during this pandemic and watch over all of us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.